This is Revit Family Creation Basics, video number one by William Spear. All right, welcome to the first installment of what are going to be several videos on the very basics of Revit Family Creation. Uh, when I first got into Revit MEP about three years ago, I myself wondered what's the difference between saving a family and loading a family into a project? And does one do the other, or they both do the same, or what? And where are these families stored? How do I start them? Once I'm in the family editor, what am I looking at? All these kinds of questions kind of plague me, and they do, I suppose, most users, from what I hear. Anybody that's starting with it still kind of wonders the same thing. Where are they? So this video is the very basics of Revit family management and a uh, little bit about the family editor environment. So let's get right into it. Uh, first of all, to create a new family, there's a couple of ways you can do that. So right now you're looking at the uh, recent files page. That's the default view that opens in Revit. And we have projects up on the top and families in the middle. And under families, we have new. So I can go here and select new, or I can go up to the application menu. And under new here, also select family there. So there's two ways to do the same thing. So let's go ahead and start a new family. And when I do, I get select template file. Now, creating a family itself creates an RFA file. So if you see a file that's .RFA, that's a Revit family file. The Revit family templates are .RFT. And note too that if I want to create annotations, I can do that. And I have a number of different annotation tags to choose from in here, including generic annotation and generic tag. And if you're not sure where you want to begin, it's always good to start with a generic tag or a template file. And that's even more the case here where we're going to create the normal uh, geometry and normal families that we'd be using in Revit MEP. So in looking at these, we have a number of different RFT files to choose from. And I want to note too that in the RFT files, some of them are listed as based files. So notice the last word on here is based. And this one up here is listed as hosted. The difference between hosted and based is really not anything. Based and hosted families are pretty much the same. They're looking to either host to something or be based against something. So in this case, it's line based. Looking for a line, it could be line based or hosted. This is data device hosted. Not doesn't say to what it's hosted here, but we assume it's hosted to a surface. But just so you know the difference or know what you're looking at, it can be confusing. Sometimes they're called based, sometimes they're called hosted. If you start off with Let's say I want to create a sconce light. It would be a pretty safe assumption that I could do a lighting fixture that's wall-based, right? And be pretty much good to go. But if I find out later on that what I wanted to create actually needs to go onto a ceiling or a floor, perhaps, then if I've done it in a wall-based file, I'm stuck with that. I have to recreate the, the object again in an unhosted or in a generic uh, model somewhere. So if you're not sure where to begin, the long and the short of it is just start with a generic model file. Let's open a generic model file here so we can see where we're at. And when I do, this is what we're in. This is called the family editor. So we are now in the family editor and in the family editor we also have views. So over here on the left you can see under my project browser I happen to be in a floor plan view that's reference level view and looks like got a couple of green lines here. What are those? Those are actually reference planes. We're looking down at a reference plane. Since this is a fan floor view, we're looking down at what would be the XY plane in AutoCAD, and this would be the uh, YZ plane, and this would be the XZ plane. If I hover over it, it tells me it's center front back, and this one tells me it's center left right. So this is the left side, right side, uh, front and back, and so you can tell what quadrant you're in. This is the right back, left back, and so forth. If I do Windows Tile, which is WT, you can see that actually four views were created for me by opening that Revit family template file. And if I do ZE, Zoom Extents, then you can see where, we're actually, where we actually are in all of these. And so if I highlight one here, it highlights down below as well. So you can see here we're in a top view, here we're in a front view. So we're looking at the front of the plane here, we're looking at the top of the plane. And if I select this view over here and highlight this plane you can see now I've highlighted the center front back plane and so I'm looking at it from the left side over here and of course up here we have a 3D view and it's always good when you're creating Revit families and when you're creating anything 3D for that matter to at least have a couple of views open so <clears throat> in this case we have four views open but this is the Revit family editor 
And although we're not going to create anything right now, let's say we did create something here. We actually created some piece of geometry or some VAV box or a light or whatever we've done. There's a couple of things we can do with that. Uh, one of the things we can do is load it into a project. And this is the load into project button up here. And if I select that and there happens to be another project file open, it will load that family into whatever project file is already open. So I happen to have this project file open and it loaded it into this file. If I have multiple files open, a dialog box will appear asking me which project file I want to load that into. So that simply loads that file into this project. It doesn't save it to any directory, however. So to do that, I need to come up here to save and then select the directory I want to put this in. Now, if I've created something new for my company, I'm going to put that in a directory somewhere on the network that's not in the same place that you would open generic content that comes out of the box with Revit. So automatically by selecting save, it allows me to place that file where I want to save it. So let's cancel that. Last thing I want to do is just show you real quick where the out of the box content exists. So if you use the default installation path, you'll find that the Revit families that are generic families, out of the box families, are located in C, Program Data, Autodesk, RME 2011, Imperial Library. So if I wanted to find the lavatories that came with Revit MEP, I could go to Plumbing Components, Fixtures, uh, Lavatories, and then you see we have four lavatories that come out of the box, oval, rectangular, vanity, and wall-mounted. And if I find that, for instance, this wall-mounted lavatory is very similar to one I'm looking for for American Standard, let's say, uh, some manufacturer-specific one, I can take the wall-mounted family here. I can open that file. In fact, we can just open that file. There's the wall-mounted family. And then I can take this family and modify it however I need to modify this family to uh, fit the shape and form of the American Standard family I have, and then go ahead and save that file. And again, I would save it someplace other than here. I would save it with its new name somewhere else. Uh, if I also wanted, once I've saved that file, to load that file into the project I happen to be working on at the time, simply come back up here to load into project and then load that file back into the project. And here you can see now I've got this dialog box because I actually have the new family I created open as well as the project, the actual project file that I showed you. Select OK and it'll load that file for me, load this file now that I've changed it into that other project. So not only have I saved it, I've loaded it into the project as well. So that's just a little bit about Revit family files. I've got time here show you one other quick thing. Let's switch to this file here. Uh, <clears throat> if I happen to be in a project and I need a family from somewhere and it's not already listed in the directory here, so down here in the project file I have families as well. Here's all the families listed in here. If I want to go and load a family, I know it's not in here, so I went in here looking for the plumbing fixture, that New American Standard one, and I didn't find it in here anywhere that's when I can come up here to insert tab, load family, and it takes me out. I can browse to wherever those families are that I've created, select open, and when I do, that family will be added down here. And once it's added, I can literally just take that family and drag and drop it into the file. And now that family will come into this file and I can actually place it where I need it to be placed. So that's a little bit about navigating through the project browser and families and uh, understanding where the families are kept and how we save them and how we load them into projects, what the family editor looks like a little bit. And then what we're going to do next is um, we're actually going to take this piece of equipment right here. This is a air-cooled chiller and look at how it was modeled, that it was modeled a little over detailed and how we can rectify that pretty quickly. So join us for the next video and um, we'll see how we do that. Thanks for joining us.